Welcome to Dyson Share Program. My name is Nila. So this is episode 32 of our Let's Play campaign. We are here on this uh, beautiful planet. This uh, is our new construction planet, SLS Primus One, and yeah, it's 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 pretty good. It started out by just uh, we we came here for the optical optical grading crystal and then we kind of stayed for everything else one of the things that i actually kind of forgot that i built on this one is the first thing i did was uh, aside from the diamonds right i think we built some didn't we build some production for something else no i thought so that's diamonds that's uh, no that must be another planet then uh, i thought i actually had some concrete built on this planet but no alas no concrete uh, that's all right. That's all right. We have a lot of other things on this planet anyway. All right. So what we did last time was making, we made the graviton lenses. We made some Casimir crystals. We made titanium glass. All of those are sort of just, you can say intermediates. They don't really get us any further, but what we'll do today will absolutely get us a massive step forward. First, we're going to do plane filters, which in and of itself is not particularly interesting. And the plane filters is the combination of the Casimir crystals that we did last time, which took up a lot of uh, hydrogen and the titanium glass. So we combine it into some plane filters that goes into quantum chips. Yay, they are so difficult. They are basically the blue chips. They're also blue, blue chips of uh, this game. So that's going to be interesting. We should have enough processors, but you never know. Maybe I'll need to make more processors after we start also consuming it here. But I want 30 of those because that's what, uh, 30 of these because that's what we have. And that will go into meaning that we can then ship the graviton lenses and the quantum chips over to our Gidi Prime science facility and then have it make a lot of gravity matrix matrices for us. Cool. So let's get started. Plane filters it is. Plane filters is actually going to be the thing that will require the most assemblers of all the things we have, at least comparatively to how much we need. Because we need 60. We're just going to look at this. Uh, we need this one, and we need that one, and... Okay, so let's call them not this one and that one. We need Casimir crystals and titanium glass in order to make plane filter. And here. The best thing about the plane filter, though, is over on uh, plane filter, plane filter, plane filter. There, wave function interference. Mastering the regularity of the prob probability change in the quantum transition process can execute a series of reverse interference to the wave function of the particle, thereby increasing the certainty of collapse. That made no sense, right? Uh, making good use of this technology may be good thing for cats. I, First of all, I think a lot of people never read this. Then some people read it and didn't get it. But... The people who got it, they're chuckling. So if you can control the quantum transitioning process so that we can make sure that it collapse, that means we can keep trading us cat alive. That's how I read it, at least. I think that's pretty clever. I think that's it's cute. <laughs> so, yeah. Chuckling nerdy hum humor here. That's perfect. Let's have a look at uh, this build and uh, what it's going to be like. So we have a 12 second cycle and this is where it gets really disgusting. That means I need to make 480 of these assemblers in order to make 60 per second. 480. Yeah, that, that's a lot. And I'm going to do it 6 times 40 times 2. Yes. Yeah, that's that's how it's gonna be. And I need twice as much. And uh, that's not it. Yeah, I need two of these. So I suppose I could do it here. Ah no. If I if I have three outbound, then six two. Hmm, let me just see. This is the return. And then I'd have one, two raw materials in yeah that's not a good idea and then i'd have one like returning here and then i would need on the outside to have double that's not good so we need to get this one as uh, as the double one yeah we get the double let's call them inputs here that one and here as well Let's put them on this line instead. There. And then I'll have here being the return. 
And then I'll have the two outbounds again. Yeah, this is the right. This is this is correct. It feels much more much more correct. The one question we did we do have and we have to f check this. This is sort of in one of the key things whenever you build something you have to check is that can you actually support 40 on a line? Oh, it has to go to this one. And what I mean is that if I have 40 of these, how much will it consume? Will it consume more than one belt? Because it's actually 40 plus 40 on this side. So let's uh, let's see. Each one. Oops, I want <laughs> that was the command for making opening a calculator in Factorio. So that's not going to work here. I'll just uh, bring up a calculator for myself. So let's uh, let's just try and see. <clears throat> okay, so what we have is we have each one is consuming two every 12 seconds. That's not much. And then if I have 40 of those, and then I have 1.5 speed. Yeah, okay, so long and short of it is each row here will consume 10 from the belt. And then since there are two taken from the same belt, they'll take 20. So that's not a problem at all. That's good, good to know, good to know. So that's just something you just have to check when, whenever you design, design a build. And this one will be the plane filter. Oops, we forgot to put that in. I think that's... Uh, nope, that's not the right place. There. You go to this location. There. It's a, one of the things that I've learned is that it, when you build these kind of things, uh, just as a, as a template, just try to make sure that they are in the same line. It makes it so much easier when you when you stand and have to pick the long belts that you can just drag from the same direct location and that the same location is there is um is on one of these lines yep <clears throat> so i will just get the inserters and let's see these are going to be identical all of them out out yes Let's try and take these out so we can see if we can copy them here and here, here and here. Looking good. And now it's just a matter of building 40 of these. Let's see if how we can do that. Now I gotta say that I'm honestly a bit proud of the fact that I could sort of guesstimate how long 40 would be. That's um, that's a lot. 40 is quite a bit over there. Uh, what we are also gonna be seeing is that we have uh, in one, two, three, that one here. We are gonna get much more of these or many more of these. Uh, I need 240. So yeah, we we, we might as well just. You know, crank it up to 200. Thank you. And uh, what else was it I wanted to say? Oh, yeah, over by this one. Let's also get some concrete. All right, let's fire it up and see what uh, we can make out of this. And then I'm going to be building one more of those because, well, well, this is just one, right? So Casimir, we have that locally. Not a problem. We have uh, titanium glass. Not a problem. And we have autosave. Not a problem. I might need to try that mod with uh, that lowers the autosave or just lower the autosave interval. I mean, I haven't had crashes, but then again, lowering the autosave interval is just the best way to get crashes. 
Uh, I was about to say, why is the titanium like glass not coming? But everything is flying in. Look at that. I love this bot. They're so fast now. And also now they fly over this way and that comes here. And that one is flying that way for... Oh, more Casimir. See, Casimir crystals... I wish they would come from all of them and not just from one of them. But that means now the Casimir crystals start working again. This one starts working again. And I'm going to just uh, build... Pave this one. Because we need to pave the world. We need to make sure this is paved. And I hope that I now have room enough on this side for one more of these builds. So this was only 240. So this is only halfway though. Uh, that means I will probably need to start another one here. But that's something... Well, we've seen it, right? Now we know how it's done. Don't need to see that again. So I'll just, uh, I'll just build this. Yeah, so it was a good thing to, that I did not choose to time-lapse this one because I couldn't count and I couldn't place and I couldn't do anything straight in this one. So we'll, uh, we're happy that I uh, chose the one there I actually, where it actually worked to set it up correctly. So uh, yeah, now no one will ever know how bad I was at counting and making straight lines. Great. All right, again, get things in here. Not providing at all. And we'll just get an absolute absurd amount of pl of plane filters coming out here. That's another 240 assemblers set up. Oh, look at that. Look at that flurry of activity. It's going to be so good. And also the fact that how fast it just fills up everything. The reason why this one fills up so much faster, first of all, it's closer. But the second thing is there are six outputs where they can take from. Which is brilliant because then it actually does take from all of them, it sees, seems here. And that means all of them will start requesting hydrogen in stupendous quantities. Yeah, that's actually really good. Could also argue that you could actually have sort of a static diff static consumption or sort of static requester of just hydrogen to this planet, which would just be global or remote requesting and local provide so that I just have lots of hydrogen on hand here because there is going to be a lead time when this one starts dipping. That actually means that it can, you can see here, it can actually consume all of the hydrogen we have available. Also power? Yeah, also power on this planet. Oops. Yeah, that's a, that's, that's a thing. <laughs> we are going to continue with the, the stuff that we really, really want. That's the... Yeah, the stuff that we really want is basically mainly the quantum chips. Because quantum chips is used for so many good things. Like three things. Three good things, right? It's going to be used for... Let me just make sure that that one is correct here. Uh, it's going to be used for the green green science, obviously. On top of that, it's going to be used for... Uh, I don't even know why I go all the way down here. Um, probably shouldn't do that. Never mind. Well, I did. Uh, right, so green science, assemblers Mark III, and rockets. Those are the primary things that require exactly what we need here so that's uh, that's why we uh, we do that um actually i don't want to fill up this one do i well i don't think it hurts i don't think i'm well obviously i'm not going to build this one we'll have to just uh, do some calculations on it we uh, we can do that here let's look at the quantum chips this is one per six second and takes two of each so that's a classic you would say uh, three inputs and outputs and six seconds so that would be if there was speed one it would be six uh, 360 assemblers but they are speed 1.5 so it's going to be 240 assemblers if i get my numbers correct oh did i run out yeah it did run out did run out just in the last seconds okay and of course i ran out exactly where i wanted it to to be well let's take a look at how many we want Uh, hold on, that's not really correct, is it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to make 60 per second because I make 60 plane filters and it's only going to give us 20, uh, 30, 30 quantum chips. So that's unfortunate. I'll just place it. I'll place it here. I mean, I know that's not directly opposite of the other one. But it's kind of... It's kind of okay. All right, let me let me get this. Oh, here you are. Here they come. So give me that. Just the first ones coming in. Yep, thank you. There we go. All right, <clears throat> let's look at this one and see what we have inbound. 
Quantum chips. Ah, oh, so great to be able to add. Yeah, so that's what we want. We want to get plane filters inbound. Yes. And the other one is processors. They come off planet, like far off planet. So like this. That's a good start. And since I have two inbounds, let's see what we can do. We can do plane filters go here. This one goes here. I mean, it's basically going to be the same as the last one now that I look at it. Because that was also like one, two, here, here. Like that. And they will be quantum chips. Copy, paste, 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 paste. This one will be returning. And then I'll have quantum chip, uh, sorry, processors. I'll have quantum chips, no, plane filters. I'm just saying wrong names now. And a return somewhere here at the back. So it's returning. And then I have plane filters and processor and return. Have to go to the back here and get it. Oops. Yeah. Okay, so that's six and I need 120 of these. So it's just 20 deep. Oh, that's pretty simple. That is pretty simple. In, 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 in. That one. These two will be here. Wow, that's not even... That, that's going to be super easy to make, isn't it? Alright, let's just make it and then we'll be happy. Okay, so this is good, except, 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 except for the fact that the power poles are pretty miserably placed because I had forgotten one thing. This is working, but yeah, they could be out here. Maybe I should have done that instead. It would probably have been nicer. Well, I, I did it this way and that's, that's just the way it's done now. I like this pattern though. This uh, pattern is not correct either, but the one I have for... Where is it? Here. This is the right pattern. So, no, it's still not. Still not. There is a better pattern where it goes three squares in, and then it goes seven squares, then the, it'll be the middle, and then it goes seven squares, then there'll be one, and then it's three squares from the end. And that actually is the perfect coverage for smelting columns. But it didn't work for this one, because for some reason it didn't work for this one. Yeah. That's, that doesn't matter. We'll uh, we'll do this one. We used a few more than we need, and we are closing in on our upper limit. Let's make sure that we get these things in here. And since I have so many of these, okay, that's not really what I want. I don't do want a few in my inventory. Let's do that one. Inventory there. I am going to request, and that one's going to be request remotely. That's unfortunately going to be taking a bit of time to get in here, but that's uh, that's okay. In the meantime, well, we can always just wait, but I also want to just uh, take a brief n note on, on mods for this game. So one of the things about the mods is that I, I get a lot of comments. I, I've deliberately 
deliberately not wanted to add mods because every time I add a mod, I'll get a number of comments. Hey, why are you, is your playthrough different from what I'm doing? Or even the, hey, you're cheating. So I don't want to do that. I want to get the most vanilla experience as possible. But of course, the copy inserter is an absolute must because I could not play this game if I didn't have that mod. So I know there are other ones with uh, save game size and uh, advanced how to build things and which I've heard is crashing. So I'm not touching that one. And the save game, i am just be really cautious about that. Something that changes the save game because it just seems like yeah, it's it's impressive if it works, but it just seems like something that uh, yeah I'm worried about would would work uh, sort of consistently or not sort of accidentally break, and uh, because that's kind of my it's like the the most important thing, and okay and and also some other things that overuse on Dyson spheres and a million other things that I don't I'm not really particularly interested in, so that's why I don't want these mods so. I'm aware of them. I do uh, sort of lie myself with what's going on, but I am. Uh, I'm. I'm just not interested in making this a modded playthrough. I want this to be, um, uh, basically the experience as intended. And then, of course, I'm doing that one deviation with regards to sorters because they are horrible, plain and simple. I just could not build it. This series would have ended a long time ago if I'd had to build sorters, and I would have moved on to other games because I just couldn't do that. So. Let's copy sorters. I think the developers need to get the, get that put in the game ASAP. But you see, we have processors coming in, and there's always already like six thousand more coming in. Yeah, it's great, and we have the first quantum chips. I don't know if anything is actually requesting quantum chips. I don't think so. Let's uh, let it go up to one thousand, and then see if it's if anything is actually uh, grabbing this. I don't think so. So from here on, what we need to do is now get. The quantum chips and the graviton lenses requested over to our science planet. Nope, nothing is requesting it. That's exactly as I wanted to see. Because I couldn't really figure out what would be requesting if, if anything. All right, so we are going to... Hmm, Giddy Prime, there you are. Let's go to Giddy Prime and then we'll from here we'll be setting up our science to request these. Now, we haven't had the science running for a while, so we are actually going to be saturated on the science, but... That's that's just beside the point. Let's actually just start up the science now, and we might want to start burning through it. Let's just get a few of these. There, that should uh, keep it going. That one as well. I want everything up to level ten, but on after level ten, I want to focus on the veins utilization. So what will happen now is that when we get to GD Prime and get all this, then we'll see that green will never run out again. But what we'll also see is that purple will then run out. And then we have our next project. So what are we at? Well, let me just see if I can see the distance. It's about still 10 light years away. So I can mention the uh, just briefly that uh, the sponsorship for this channel is you guys. You guys are on supporting the channel on Patreon and, of course, by view watching ads. And uh, the people joining and donating in Twitch, they're the ones who are supporting on uh, the, this this channel so that's uh, the mentioning of my sponsorship for for this for this so thank you very much for the people who are supporting and let's uh, get to Giddy Prime we are going to actually run out of power here on Giddy Prime we're also running out on power back home so that's that's another really uh, well not home but as as Celos Primus is also running out of power we should probably have stamped down a few more things there as everything gets up and running yeah, I think we should have put some power poles or some some more some more stuff. And is it number three is the one that's shooting? Two is the one that's uh, that's our science. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Looks so good! Looks so good! And we are here. All right, so let's try to navigate on this location. All right, then this is the one that actually has a lot of concrete production. Uh, the one thing that, that's actually a problem on this planet is there is zero wind. If there's zero wind, there's also zero atmosphere. Baron does it. If there's zero atmosphere, then you can't use the the uh, the ray receivers. Won't really get any benefit. Oh, 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 oh what is uh, what is the major malfunction here? Ah, 
Green is not working. Ha! Huh. Awesome. Well, also purple is not working. That's less awesome. Damn. So us actually uh, hooking up greens isn't really going to do much. And I will not do local supply. I'll make sure that we we get some in here. That's number five, maybe six there. Oh, that's a lot. Why did I want so many? Well, doesn't matter. We have them and now they are ours and we'll probably find a use for them. Here, I'll get some warpers in here. Get some in here. And so we actually have some and I will do there. Sweet. This this is the next thing we want to do. We could also request the process. We could figure out why the particle broadband is not working. I think that what we'll do now, when we see that this is flowing, then we'll just get one more thing. Oh, by the way, power on this one. Power is not great, especially if the whole thing just fires up again. So what I could, well, should do is actually up here, I should build like a, it's gonna take a while for it to come all the way from Acellus Primus, I think. Uh, we could make a location up here that does uh, does the ray receiver because I mean I have a I have a Dyson sphere in this system and I'm not using it at all, so they're kind of bad. All right, let me just try to get a sense of where this is gonna be. This will be this one would be the first one, and then that would be the second one, and this would be where the purple line is if this was uh, the north. So I should be looking at these lines here as my location where I want to make rave receivers. I think that's the right place to make rave receivers. Oh, okay, so some science is working. That's nice. And I think we saw some things coming in. Let's uh, head back and see things filling up. Where are you? Where are you? How did I lose my science facility on this gigantic planet? Greens are coming. Greens are coming in. Look at that. All them greens. Wow. And yep, look at that. That is like crazy quantities of everything. And this one should be able to keep up because I'm only consuming 30 per second. So that should be fine. Only consuming 30 per second. No, it's actually less. I'm only consuming 15 per second of each. So this is definitely enough to keep it up. And as these towers just fill up, by the time that all the towers are fully saturated, we should have exactly what we need. And it would be sooner so nice if someone came in, something came in here. Like, I'm just going to put it in here and just pretend. But I think we have a, a purple issue, issue, purple issue, issue, purple cube issue. All right, this is getting closer and closer to a fully saturated belt. And we can then just run down here. Yep. That's probably going to be our thumbnail. <laughs> Seems right, doesn't it? Yes, it does. All right, but that's not what we do now. We uh, have to just just make sure that everything is up and running and that we have a full, fully saturated belt out. It won't be fully saturated until every single one of these are filled up, and even then, it it still should then it should be saturated. Pretty sure. Though we will also. So get into a situation where, uh, well, looks like the green is still the main problem. And we're starting to fill up here. This is obviously not particularly fast. If we look at it right now, we're writing at, well, 23,000 hashes. It's peak. It should be peaking at 28,000 hashes or 27,000 hashes. That's going to be the maximum we can do at that one. Now every single one is working and we should be closing in on a full belt. There might be some variation on sort of inserter synchronicity, but I really think it should be full at this point, right? There should be a full belt. It's close to a full belt, but it's not quite a full belt. That is kind of weird. Hmm. Well, it's on a 24 second cycle, so it, it's also just taking... 24 seconds for this one to even start. Oh, no, 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 it's power. It's power. Of course it's power. It's always power. Ah, uh, yeah. So when I think I did something correct here, then it's actually not correct. This is our local production of 
concrete, which is nice to have. Oh, this one. You are definitely going to give us uh, 200. Give us 200, please. Uh, there. Give us 200. Thank you. Oh, that means there's something erroneous on the on the home planet if they didn't send send it out. Oh yeah, this is because there's uh, no warpers there. I think I, I noticed that problem. Actually, that's not what we wanted to do. We want to get some concrete as well, more concrete. Well, we just noticed that the other one wasn't working yet. Cool. So let's uh, bait this one. We are going to make, and that's going to be. Yeah, we need. We need more power here, so that should be a nice little thing. We've done this before, and there's a specific way of doing this that I actually like. These these tiles out here. Okay, so so the third, first thing is the center piece here is is not very valuable. So in the north north pole, we use it for for our for our polar hub, our temple of effectiveness. But on the south pole, we don't really have anything. So sometimes I build like power poles, I put more suns down there. Uh, but it, I don't really have a good thing to build there at this point. But what I do have is this area here, which is just outside the location where we would normally have our temple of effectiveness. If you don't know what that is, then check out my my tutorial on my polar hub, also called the temple of effectiveness, which I absolutely love that name. There. And so outside of that is a good place to paint ray receivers. It's still it's these slim bands here between fault lines, so they're not super effective to build anything at. You can build like small things, but generally, yeah, not really a great place to build stuff. So you can build used to, to build ray receivers at these locations. See, you can see here. Um yeah, these two bands, I rarely use them for anything construction-wise. So they can also build ray receivers on that side. Oh, I wanted to actually go there to get some ray receivers. And that's going to be right there. And we get 100 inbound. Well, 100 inbound is still something. And then I'm going to show how that's going to be done. It's going to be right. Oh, yeah. This, this is always like the worst part ever of all things that could ever be there. So if I do one slider down, then this one will work. But if I keep going here, this is the closest I can make to the pole where these can stand with a uh, with two two squares between them. But if I place it down here, then it's not actually always going to be even because they well they hmm looks like it's working. Oops, this one, ah, oh, come on, out. Here, here, and is this one working? Yes, yes. Okay, so this looks fine. This is gonna be the setup. Actually, it's already doing stuff right now. Well, it's not because it's nighttime, but. Well, it's uh, is it winter? Yeah, winter zone for the next four hundred seconds. Uh huh. Yeah, we'll um, we'll build this one for sure. And uh, but it's, yeah, you know what? I'm I'm gonna build this. The idea is that on the inside I'll have ten plus ten, and then I'll have thirteen plus thirteen. We built this one at anchor one, so this is gonna be just exactly the same as we have here. So here we are. <clears throat> Again, we just got a. Uh, a delivery of graviton lenses coming in here and you will see that they will likely go out on the outside lane that's what i've just said uh, what i've set it up to do and shouldn't i get another one over here <clears throat> yeah they are also running out of, they're kind of running out too much but okay they're they're on the outer lane the outer lane looks fine we're still going to get more to get into on the inner lane but this is also the second location of these things oh did it just get something yes it did all right, good. So it starts by going in here, which it will just, and I just need to make sure that it goes all the way around so we get grin lenses into everything. It looks like, because it has been sort of around a few times, but you can see this one isn't completely saturated. Well, actually it is, but now also the belts are saturated here. And this one will also now be completely saturated. And then I just want to make sure that it's, it can go on the other way around. Cool. <clears throat> but what you can see now is that this doesn't work when it's below the horizon. 
So it can't see the sphere from here, or it can't see the sun. It's not actually the sphere, it's the sun it has to see. And if normally, <clears throat> sorry, normally with graviton lenses, they could look below the surface because it sort of bounces off the ionosphere. But that's not unfortunately the case. So what I have to do is go to the other pole. This is actually where we started. And now I have it on both sides. And what something interesting has happened. You can see that science is dead and it's not actually dead for the reason that we would think it would be dead. It's actually dead because you can see everything is coming in here, but the reason why it's dead is because I don't have critical photons. So that's going to be another thing we want to do. We want to make sure that we have our purple science, but also our critical photons need to be scaled up to 30 per second. And 30 critical photons per second is actually quite a lot. But the great thing is, hey, we've just built a great place to actually claim critical photons because that's, uh, that might be just a nice way to do it. Also, if we just look at power on this planet, yeah, we have quite a lot of power, like 5.4 gigawatts of power. We don't need those uh, here at the... No, not that one. On the other side. Come on, come on, come on. Here. We don't need... Oh, I don't... I thought I actually had, like, a round of of artificial stars now i don't all right so the majority of what this is is actually 25 for each of these and how many do we have we have 10 plus 10 that's uh 20 and then plus <clears throat> two times 12 and a half that's 25 so i have 45 that means 90 that's when it's 180 times two that means 360 about half of them are going to be well actually more than half but let's just say half of them so it's 180 180 times 25 that's four and a half gigawatts of power yeah so we have four and a half gigawatts of power which actually corresponds quite well if i'm just uh, thinking i have eight times 75 that's only 600 for the other thing so if we look at the total production here the 600 of this 600 of this comes from the artificial suns and then the remainder actually comes from all of these that makes perfect sense it actually is working it's pretty close to being uh, half of them active at any given time cool which is also like way too much so i could actually basically take what i want to do at later on is take all the outer one in uh, the two outer lanes and turn those into photon generation because then we can have the photon generation right here cool all right i'm it is time for us to wrap up this episode and uh, yeah it's been super awesome what we've done we have now completely gotten the all the green signs under control and uh, it's now ready to go so here we are looking down the line here i will see you guys in the next episode as we get started on the purple signs thank you very much for watching uh, if you like it if you uh, have any comments feel free to leave a comment below and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already thank you for watching i'll see you guys next time take care and stay effective